Ugh, you're so expensive. Yep. Um, why is that in pounds? That's weird. I'm on the U.S. site. Huh, whatever. But anyway, uh, my Sony Vegas 10 popped up with a, a friggin' offer to purchase this for like 200 U.S. Uh, an upgrade patch, whatever. Well, I thought it was an upgrade. Turns out it was the actual install. So I spent some of that Google money, and now I got Vegas 12. And let me tell you, Vegas 12 runs a frig ton better than Vegas 10. Not as many crashes, still crashes from time to time, but not as many crashes. Uh, the rendering, like on my XPS 9000, Sony Vegas 10 to render a 20 minute vlog would take about 27, 30 minutes. Where with Vegas 12 to render a 20 minute vlog takes like 17 minutes. You know, so it's sped up rendering because it'll actually use the processor and it'll actually use the hardware properly. It'll use my video card, where Sony Vegas 12 could only really recognize the four, the the quad cores. This one here, Sony Vegas uh, 12, will recognize the quad cores and the fact that they're hyper streamed, or whatever, multi streamed, or whatever the fucking term for that is. Basically, they got two streams per per core, making it just that much faster. Friggin' sweet. So I got it installed on this rig and on my laptop and on my gaming computer so I can edit out freaking gaming videos faster. And uh, all in all, I really, really, really do like it. It works friggin' awesomely. And the layout's no different than Sony Vegas 10, just a couple weird quirks that it does when you import videos, like makes them glow yellow, like they're enchanted or something. I don't know what's going on with that, but pretty friggin' awesome nonetheless. But anyway, people. 3.05 in the afternoon. I had a horrible time falling asleep last night. Don't know what the hell caused it, but I just couldn't get my ass to bed. Didn't get to sleep till like 6 in the morning. Woke up at friggin' 2.30 in the afternoon. Found out I missed a call from my dad because he wanted to come over and take a look at that sink. He's probably going to do that tomorrow. Go we'll take a look at it. He thinks he knows why it, it bunged up. I'm thinking it can't be grease because I pour all my grease in a jar. It can't be anything... Unless well, like food particles got down there and they all fucking ganged up at an elbow somewhere. Somewhere, but the P-trap, I did something kind of crazy last night. I basically took the bottom cap off the P-trap. Well, first what I did was, I was like, oh, well, I wonder if I can feel where it's, it's getting stuck. So I boiled a big pot of water after draining out the sink as much as I could. I boiled, boiled, boiled a big pot of water and poured it right down the drain. Like, right, right, right down the drain. And on the side where the sink material was, like where the pipe comes down, and then it goes uh, through the P-trap, and then it comes down out to th whatever. I put my hand in the peach, like uh, on the drain, and I'm going down the drain, and it's like hot, 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 hot. Then I hit the P-trap, and I go around the cone, and it's I was like hot, 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 warm, warm, cold, 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 cold. So I was like, oh fuck, we got a clog in the P-trap. Okay, that's not a problem. I have my trusty dusty bucket, which this is where things kind of sort of sucked, and uh, I took the bottom. Uh, there's like a a cap on the P-trap. So I took the bottom cap off the P-trap, and all the water came pissing out. I caught most of it in the bucket, but what I forgot was I did pour boiling water down that, the, that fucking sink. So I got boiling water flying out into this tiny little bucket. Yeah, yeah, the bucket, uh, that's still fine, but I'm surprised it didn't give away. Uh, so I had to rush that hot as hell to the bathroom to dump it. And then um, I fired the snake in there to see if I could snake out any residue or something. I couldn't find anything. There was nothing in that sink that I could pull. So I was like, okay, well, frig it. Obviously the clog's got to be somewhere else. So Dad says he knows where it is. Well, he thinks he knows what the problem is. So I'm going to let him come over and fucking dick around with that and see if he can figure it out. Because I'm at a loss. I have no idea. I'm, I'm confounded. Like, But uh, he's going to show me what he thinks and then we're going to go from there. And hopefully we can get that fixed because I got some dishes I wanted to do and I wanted to do those today. Get the dishes done. I need to go to the mall still. Pick up some shit and then blow the driveway and then probably head over to Jules' house later on tonight. Right now she's almost kidless. 75% of her children are gone. She only has uh, her son today. So I was thinking maybe go over to there tonight after he goes to bed and then uh, hang out for a bit. But uh, yeah, I need to go to the mall. Got to do, finish up some Christmas shopping. <coughs> And then I need to go to, uh, I come home, park at the side of the road, get the blower fired up, clear that driveway because she's a mess, and go from there. So, without further ado, people, welcome to my vlog. Just sitting here drinking my coffee and reading up on the news and things of what's happening. And it's pretty fucked. Like, pretty fucked indeed. 
Friggin' Supreme Court ruling forces prostitution policy onto Harper's agenda. What? What's up with that? Basically, it looks like the government, uh, well, the prostitutes wanted uh, decriminal decriminalization of prostitution. Basically, uh, if you're caught like soliciting sex, there's nothing they could do. It was basically up to the end user if they were going to buy into it or not. So... But it looks like the government is like, no, 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 we're, we're not going to friggin' do that. We, we don't, we, we find it harmful. And it's true, they find it harmful towards the communities of women. You know, because, just because one woman decides to be a prostitute doesn't mean all women are prostitutes. And some guys will just see a woman in a skirt and go, she must be a hooker, throw some money at her and bang the shit out of her, right? So... Eh, kind of makes sense, but this is what I find funny. Everybody on Facebook is going on and on and on and on about Phil Robertson. Who the fuck is Phil Robertson, you ask? Duck Dynasty. He's the he's the old man in the show, and apparently he was on an episode of or an interview of GQ or some shit, and they asked him what he thinks about uh, uh, about gays and lesbians and all that, and apparently he had some pretty disgusting things to say. But you know what? He's an old man. Like, I'm pretty sure if my grandfather was still alive and I asked him what he thought about homosexuality, I'm pretty sure he would have told me the exact same thing that Phil Robertson told GQ. Because you know what? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Some people are pretty well strung up in their own, uh, their own beliefs, and you can't change that. And that's his own opinion. He's an old fucking guy, you know, a hardcore Christian to boot. You can't change a shit leopard's fucking spots, you know? And they made this big deal about it. It's been on the news, multiple news channels. So the moment that happened, the first thing that came to my mind was, Okay, what's the media trying to cover up now? Look at when Miley Cyrus was twerking, you know? Look at when she did that VMA thing and she was like fucking rubbing her fucking genitalia all over that dude. I don't know their names, I could give a flying fuck. But, um, meanwhile, the U.S. was ready to go to war with Syria. Nobody was talking about that. They are all just talking about how disgusted they were about Miley Cyrus. Then Miley drops her new video, Wrecking Ball, while the U.S. is planning something else, you know? And meanwhile, in Canada, they want to run a fucking oil pipeline right through our lake, which is right over there where we get our drinking water from. Yeah, that's fucking brilliant. Let's put some toxic water right through our drinking water. Way to go, government. You guys are fucking dumb. But the government don't give a flying fuck because all they care about is money, 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 money. Money. You know, they don't care if they kill off the North. They've been trying to kill off the North for the longest of times now. You know, shutting down the ONR. If they shut down the ONR, there's many communities up North that will become ghost towns. They'll just die because the ONR is how they make their money. It's basically what keeps them alive. And the government wants to shut it down because they're a bunch of goofs. So when I see something stupid in the media about a celebrity who's getting bombarded, first thing I do is rush the news. Okay, what the fuck's really going on, right? Because there's going to be an honest reporter out there who's going to talk about anything but, you know, that, that bullshit going on in the, in the media. Who gives a fuck about some dude on TV, you know? Those guys have been rich a long time ago. That Duck Commander's been producing them more money than this TV show. And if it's a real big deal, the whole family just needs to step up, tell A&E to go fuck themselves, and move to a different network. Who wouldn't want to pick them up? They're the number one most rated TV show on the fucking television right now. Come on, pull up! Bullshit going on in the world. Like, I'm just talking about the prostitution thing, you know, and, uh... Uh, I, I read something the other day about Japan and China wanting to go to war together, uh, against each other, sorry, and if that happens, well, I can guarantee you the U.S. is going to step in, because fuck, they always do, and chances are Canada is going to go in with the mops and buckets and clean up after the fucking mess, because that's what we always do. So it's, it's just, there's so much horse shit that happens underneath the scenes. So every time you see some media outbreak, of some celebrity who fucking took a shit on the audience or said something stupid and they're making a big fuss about it. Run to your news sites. Do some digging around because there's bigger fish to fry and they're just trying to cover it up. You know? And it's like that all the fucking time. And what a better way. What a better, better, better way to do it than take somebody popular on TV, scandalize them. Like they set up Phil Robertson. They had to have because honestly, like I said, he's an old guy. Super hardcore Christian, strong in his beliefs, and he's not going to think before he says something. They got what they wanted. They got their cover-up. 
All right, everybody's focusing on Phil. All right, let's go ahead and run with this here, this here motive. You know, let's go ahead and run that pipeline. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do that. Because everybody's so hung up on, on the media that we can get away with it and we can slip it right underneath their noses because they're too busy worrying about some redneck in fucking Louisiana who who thinks that vaginas are nicer than bum holes, you know? Like, who the fuck cares? Who cares about that? That's fucking a TV show that could be canceled in two years, you know? What about our planet? That's what they're trying to destroy and they don't think about it because they're all fuckers in Parliament and, 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 and the U.S. White House there. Bunch of old fucking idiots that just want to wreck the planet so that their wallets can get fat. Newsflash, assholes, can't take money to the grave, bitches. I'm bitching about that. I'm still drinking my coffee, and I gotta get the fuck out to my car, fire it up, and try and get it out the driveway. Plow came by last night. Bank at the end of the driveway. It's kind of high. Should be fun. All right, I gotta go, and then I gotta brave the mall. It's gonna be busy today. Fuck, I hate waiting to the last minute. Son of a bitch. So crazy Logie sends me this friggin' website called Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator. That's right. Just like being on the Enterprise. All it requires is for you to have a lot of computers and a bunch of friends who are nerdy as you, and you guys can have your own USS Enterprise and control the bridge. You got your weapons officer, your communications officer, your friggin' guy who drives the ship, uh, what do you call that? Uh, we'll call him driving officer. You know, you got your captain who's drilling out orders. You got uh, your science officer who will handle all the scanners and all that shit. You know, you got your engineer who keeps everything running tip-top shape. You're, you're, did I say weapons officer? If not, you got weapons officer. And you know, I watched, just watched the video on it, and like they literally set up a bridge in like their basement where they had like the captain's chair, which was just like a computer chair. And um, they had like people set up to the sides, like they had their, their, their navigation guy over here, the driving guy, then they had their weapons guy over here, and then they had in the back, they had like their science officers and all those. And then they had like a view screen set up on a 50 inch TV. It looked fucking badass. I'm looking at that going, oh my god, we could totally nerd it up on a Saturday, set up the downstairs like, like fucking USS Second Prize, and, and totally nerd it up and play Artemis, you know? That would be hilarious if only I had friends nerdy enough to play with me. I don't, I don't really have friends that are that nerdy that would actually jump in and be like, Captain's Log, sturdy, blah, 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 you know? But fuck, that'd be awesome. Yeah! Alrighty, well, I gotta get out of here. Been dawdling and watching freaking YouTube videos for a while, and puppy's not even on his banky. Kitty taking it? Yeah, because kitty's a big mean kitty. Taking the banky from puppy dog. Hey, he's sad. He's sad. Wondering what he's looking at? He's looking at this. <laughs> My mechanical mod with a uh, freaking uh, cardo tank onto it. He's like, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. What a weirdo. This might be exciting. Look at how freaking deep the snow is here. My car's so tires are halfway buried. But uh, I'm really concerned about that. And that truck. So I gotta back out and not hit him. But uh, eh, this will be fun. Let's give her. Let's give her. Alrighty, let's see if we can get the frig out of here. Woohoo! She's slippery. Of course I can't see any cars coming, for freak's sakes. I cleaned off that fucking window. God oh, damn it. Oh well, and he's behind me, they're about to find out the rough way that I'm backing out. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I gotta really do my driveway tonight, that's for sure. Come on, baby! <sighs> if the truck wasn't there, I wouldn't be so fucking worried. Beauty. Anyway, I was totally planning a drive to the mall when my phone went off and it was Jules wondering if I was on my way over. But as you could tell from the driveway, I'm definitely not on my way over because I need to come to the mall, purchase some Christmas shit, and then go home and clear the driveway. So I told her I'd go over after 8 when her son goes to bed. And that way there, it'll be easy to put him to bed. He won't be all excited and, and stuff. And I'll probably bring the presents that I bought, well, that I'm about to buy for her kids over there so she can wrap them because one thing I hate doing is wrapping presents because I really suck at it. So uh, she's like, oh yeah, I can wrap it. I got paper and everything. So that means I don't have to buy paper, which is fine. Mind you, I have a bunch of paper around the house. Just got to find it. But the fact that I don't have to wrap it is awesome. All right, let's get the hell in there. Get some shopping done. 
push some people around, maybe punch a couple people in the face, and uh, we'll come back out and Christmas will be done. Awesome. Well, let's go. Freak six, it felt like I was in there for longer than that, but anyway. <sighs> Christmas shopping is done. That place was hectic. Couldn't find a friggin' single thing that I wanted. Everything was picked clean. This is why you don't wait till the last minute. But, uh, how well. Normally it's pretty easy for me, like, just my parents, but I decided to be nice this year and buy Jules' kids something, so. Well, let's go home, fire up the blower, and fuck, take care of that driveway. Yeehaw. Just gonna leave the car on the side of the road while I deal with this nonsense. Oh, here's hoping the blower does a good job and she starts and runs. I really, really, really don't feel like shoveling. Nope. Alrighty, well, it's too dark to film this, but I got my gloves. I'm gonna grab my something wrong with that guy hat, and then uh, we're gonna head out and blow that driveway. Let's do this. There we go. All done. And I'm sweaty. And I smell like a snowmobile. It's exhaust. By snowmobile, I mean snowblower. What the fuck? He's got like a piece of shit stuck to his ass. Son of a bitch. Went to the buck store and bought one of these uh, $2 friggin' organizer shit just so I can put all my e-cigarettes into it, you know? Now we're there, I got it all organized. And they're not everywhere and I can find them. Yeah. Also bought this neat little organization box just to keep my shit in order. Yes, people, there's 13 bottles of juice, or 12 bottles of juice in there. Yeah, I got a lot of juice. Plus, there's these two here that I haven't even put in there yet. Well, I just got off the phone with Dad. He's coming over tomorrow to take a look at the plumbing in the kitchen sink to see if he can figure it out. He's got a better snake than I have. He's got a real one, not a dollar store branded one. So it actually has, you know, the ability to not suck. So he's going to come over and he's going to snake the drain. And if it's frozen, well, he has, has a plan. Um, worst case scenario. Oh my God, you're so cute. Look at the yawns. Oh my God. Look at you. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Yeah. But, um, speaking of, of, of dickered things, this guy here had a great big waffle of shit stuck to his bum. So I literally had to, uh, I, I pulled it off. Well, I, I grabbed it with a napkin, a napkin, paper towel, whatever. And I had to, uh, freaking pull it out. And it was like really waffled into his bum fur. So what I did was I, um, stay there, cigarettes. My cigarettes. Uh, I basically took the scissors to his arse and I, I cut all the fur off and it freed up the shit because, uh, oh my god, like, it was disgusting. And I can always tell when he has poop stuck to his bum because his first instinct is he walks in and he won't jump on me like that. He'll sit down. He'll take a couple steps, sit. Take a couple steps, sit. Take a couple steps, sit. You know, and it's because he's got the poop on his bum and he's hoping that the poop will get stuck to the carpet or something and he can break it off. Well, freak sakes, dog. Like, why? Yeah, the sink still has water into it. I gotta clear it all out. Dad's like, make sure the sinks are empty tomorrow when I do this, because I don't want to be dicking around with your dishes and stuff. So hopefully he gets that done, and I can finish off what's left of my dishes. I already put the stuff away that was in the tray here, and um, he's gonna come over tomorrow and get all that settled up and stuff. But uh, right now I'm gonna head over to Jules's house. She's gonna wrap the presents for her kids, because honestly, I don't want to bother. Um, I suck at wrapping presents. She loves doing it. So it's super fun for her. So I figured, frigate, we'll head over there and have her do that. I'm going to bring over uh, the Mountain Dew to Jules. I'm just going to run upstairs real quick and drop something off on my desk. And then uh, we're going to frig off and things. So I'll bring her 10 mil of that and that should be fine. She's got some juice called uh, Smurfette or Blue Smurfette or oh, who the frig knows. All I know is she says it tastes like blue cotton candy. So. She's got that loaded into her eye taste. And uh, I'm going to give that a go, probably. See if I like it. And if I do, then I'm probably going to order some next time around. But I definitely want to order some more yellow juice. Because so far... Get that. Get that. <laughs> get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. She's so... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you got to calm down. Why do you bite me? I don't like that kind. Just, just take the pets. You just take the pets. Yeah. She did something stupid last night. When I was emptying out the sink and stuff, and I was boiling the water on the stove, she's up here and she's eating her food. Holy shit, she really put a track on that. She's eating her food, and the stove made a hiss sound, which freaked her out, and she fell off. But she reached up, and the lone thing she grabbed onto was her bowl. So, needless to say, a quarter of a bowl of cat food went flying all over the ground. 
So her and Oreo cleaned it all up. I'm not too happy about Oreo eating that because it's gonna give him the shits. But anyway, let's get over to Jules' house because she needs to do the do. There is a kitten in that bag. And there's copyright music playing in the background. <laughs> well, Jules wrapped all my presents for me. She wrapped all my presents, so I don't have to do them, which is perfect. Right now she's getting some ice water because we've both been vaping like a boss and we need some water. And and, and 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 puppy is being a puppy and kitty is like Kitty thinks she's a shopping bag. Oh and she's attacking me. She's like, leave my bag alone. Jules is tormenting her kitty. Kitty's in the Walmart bag. <laughs> There's a Mika. There's a Mika. Oh, you got blue eyes too. Yay. You got the same eyes as your present. sister. You mm -hmm. got the same eyes that your sister has. The blue eyes. Get down. Such a brat. Yeah. Oh boy. Little kitten, big tail. Little kitten, big tail. Little kitten, big tail. Little kitten, eats big tail. <laughs> nom 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 nom. You're so mean to her. You're so mean to her. <laughs> Does it look like she minds? Um. Um. And make the dog leg its tail. It's a bee. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> you okay? You're cool. Get back up there. Oh. You still gotta eat that. You haven't eaten all your food. <laughs> huh. Oh she getting too mean? No, no okay. she's like no, she's like, I don't like this kind, it hurts. Hmm. <laughs> Sierra's like, Mom. She's trying to climb onto my lap. He's trying to get away from the cat, but the problem is that the cat has legs of its own. Ouch. You're digging claws. Oh, just latched onto it. You're such a main kitten. <laughs> Ouch. Mika. Mika. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Alrighty. The presents are all wrapped. Good to go. I told her just put them out Christmas Day and uh, have at her. That way they don't have to wait. And uh, life is good. So, just gotta watch out that I don't bang into her van. Not much parking here. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna go to Sobeys because I wanna grab something to eat and then uh, we're gonna head her home. So let's go. Wow. Yeah, I'm home now. I've been home for a bit. I had some, I had a bite to eat there and just been, uh, well, I bought the movie Kick-Ass 2, and I really wanted to watch it. I had my dinner and watched... You're in the way, dude. Bum's clean. Yeah, he's bum's clean. But, uh, no, I wanted to really watch that Kick-Ass 2. Well, uh, I had supper, and I was done eating, and the movie wasn't even halfway through, so I was like, well, frig it, I'll continue watching it. If you're wondering why I put my coat on, it's because I pulled a boner and left my frickin' phone in the car. Son of a bitch. So, gotta run out to the car, grab my phone, but, uh... Yeah, I'd say we got everything done that we wanted to get done today. Christmas presents, check. Wrapped, check. Sink still plugged, check. Kitty still looking at my shoe, check. Silly kid then. Um, I'm gonna head out to the car. Holy, she ever mild out right now. That's why if my sink was frozen, you'd think it would unthaw because of how mild it is. But no, 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 no. It's not that easy, I guess. Oh well. Alright, got the phone. I think Oreo just frigged off to go for a shit. I'm gonna head her back inside. Just wait for him to come back to the frickin' door. There's, uh, yup. Yeah, still water in there. Frig sakes. <laughs> My winter jacket's not there and she just can't get the grip on it. <laughs> Poor kitten! <laughs> uh, My winter jacket's there. It's made out of a different material, eh? So she can just cling to it and climb. Like now she has no problems because my jacket's there, right? So she can climb all over it and she can get good traction with her claws, but <laughs> with <laughs> the jacket there, she just runs, eh? And all four paws go up, and she just, just sticks out of the jacket and goes, oh shit, and starts losing grip because it's made out of like a canvas material rather than being made out of like a wool material. So, but yeah, we got everything done. We're good. We're golden. Just gonna wait for the dog to come back inside. Is that him at the door? Did I just hear him? I'm hearing phantom scratches. Yeah, I'm hearing phantom scratches. 
And then, uh, honestly, I think I'm going to shut the vlog down here, people. Call it quits for tonight. It's currently 1.30 in the wall. That's weird. Clock on my desk says 1.30. It's actually 10 after 1. But, uh, call it quits for tonight. Dad's going to come over tomorrow, take a look at that drain, see if we can figure it out, and go from there. So on that note, if you like, if you like today's video, you know, awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And, uh, until next time, people, keep on vlogging.